Hello, everybody, and welcome to Chrono Plays in the Real World. Today, I've got a new toy. Of course, uh, don't make these videos unless I have a new toy. But today, it is the PS4. Yes, I went out today and picked one up for two reasons, actually. One, the obvious. And two, because of Project Morpheus, since I'm getting heavily into the virtual reality kind of thing, I may as well go all in. And obviously the Project Morpheus is going to be PS4 exclusive, so I may as well get started now. Plus the whole Grand Theft Auto thing kind of helps. So let's take a look at this thing. We have obviously the box with the pretty PS4 picture on it. As you can see, I did not get the Destiny bundle because I don't really care about Destiny. Uh, so what do we got? Uh, vertical stand sold separately. As is common, I guess. I don't even know why they insist on... Yeah, whatever. 500 gig hard drive. Uh, PS4. Advertisements for some of the games that you can play on it. Let's see. Destiny, I think. Uh, infamous. Uh, Sleeping Dogs. I don't know. Um, I actually don't recognize that game. Is that, is that, uh, oh, what is that? The Mordor game, the Lord of the Rings game that everybody's, like, so hyped about, which is really kind of cool. Watch, play, and stream your movies, TV shows, and sports. Oh, I guess on your PS Vita, if you have one, I do not. Uh, PlayStation Plus, you can get games. Look, Kitty wants to be in the middle of the video. Hi, Kitty. Um, hi, Kitty. Go lie down. <laughs> okay, enough, enough, enough. Scoot, 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 scoot. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, let's let's just shut up and get into what's in the box. In the box. This is the first time I've opened it. And we have the new PS4 controller. Woo! What'd they call this thing? I actually forget what they called this thing. But it's the PS4 controller based somewhat, based kind of loosely on the PS2 controller, which I thought was one of the greatest controllers in existence until I got an Xbox 360. It is, let's see, headphone jack. We have a touchpad right here, which ought to be interesting. We got the standard controls. And the really squishy feeling triggers. I don't, know, I don't know. I guess I've been spoiled by the 360 controller. And then this thing, which uses the camera, the PlayStation camera, to keep track of where you're moving it. You know, I mean, all that fun crap. Who cares? I sure don't. I'm sure somebody does. Uh, manual. Manual. Don't care. There's something, like, really heavy in here, and if, I think it's just the power supply, but it feels a lot heavier than that. Oh, lots of cables. Uh, USB charging cable. That's a standard micro-USB cable for charging the controller. Hey, that's a thought. The PS4 controller uses micro-USB port to charge, like your standard cell phone, whereas the Wii U uses a standard mini USB port to charge, like, I don't know, those portable external hard drives, kind of-ish. Huh, okay, that's strange. Um, yes, anyways, uh, micro USB cable, power cable, I do not see a brick. That's cool. Ah, uh, HDMI cable. Well, thank God things are coming with HDMI cables. Of course, they're going to end up like USB cables where you have a billion of them lying around. And a... Land, or, uh, uh, frack, I forget what these things are called. Um, lanyard mic? Oh, I forget what they're called, but they're the clip-on mics. Um, no, this is actually kind of, yes, this is exactly like a standard, uh, headset that you use for your cell phone. So you have the earpiece, and then you have the microphone here with, oh, that you can turn on and off. Oh, that is nice. And it's a standard, you know, uh, I don't know, whatever those things are called. 1.5 inch mic adapters? I have no idea. 
Boop. And then we have... Come on. There we go. This thing's not light, is it? I mean, it's not terribly heavy, but it's not light. We have the PS4 itself in all its wrapped up glory. Let's get this thing out. Yay, shiny fingerprint magnet. A very, very sleek looking thing. Like a pizza box. Just smaller, I guess. Uh, two USB ports in the front. There's a slot for the discs. Is that touch sensitive? Because that's not a push button. Neither of these are push buttons. But that's apparently the power button right there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Probably not. Because it's too bloody shiny and it's screwing with the lighting. But that's apparently the power and that's apparently eject. But they're not push buttons. So they must be touch sensitive. On the back we have a proprietary connector. Probably for the camera which I do not have. We have a network port which is not surprising. Anybody remember when the PS3 was supposed to have like three or four network ports in it so that you could plug it like all of your all of your friends PlayStations in do like a whole LAN thing without having a hub? Yeah, I don't blame them for getting rid of that. We got HDMI out. Yes, that's standard HDMI out. We have optical audio out. Interesting. That's not something I expect to see. Hmm. And then we have the standard for Sony power connection right there. Ugh. So there we go. Nice and pretty and black. And I can't tell through the viewfinder, but it's probably not showing up very well because it's too bloody black. Yes, I could have gotten the white one, but again, I didn't want Destiny. So, let me set this all up, and I will get back to this when I am recording the video. Now, I'm going to say this right off the bat. I This is not the first thing you see when you fire up the PS4. I had to go into the settings, and I had to disable HDCP before I could even do this. Um... It's a setting enabled by default, apparently, and I, when I had, when I plugged it in initially, I just saw a black screen, and then after a few minutes, I got this very strange digital static, which I had never seen before. It was the very, it was the strangest, strangest thing, but I could, it, nothing was showing up on the capture software, so it wasn't recording that either, so I can't even show that off. But it was definitely a very strange thing. Um, so I had to go through all the initial... I had to disconnect everything, connect it straight into the TV, go through the initial setup, track down the specific setting inside of the settings menu, and disable it. So, yes. Here we are. This is the first thing you see when you turn it back on from standby, and it asks you what user you want to log in as. And I have user 1. It did not ask me to set up a user or anything like that, but here it is. So, user one, and we get what I can only describe as Windows Metro. Yeah, what the hell? Uh, we get what's new, so yeah, who gives a crap about that? The Playroom, sign into PSN and view the latest information for this application. PSN thing that I don't care about. Live broadcasts of gameplay from around the world. I don't care. Capture gallery. View video clips of screen. Okay, so all of this stuff, all the initial stuff that shows up is absolutely nothing to do with video games whatsoever. And you have to go the whole way over to library before you can view the applications that can be played on the PS4. The fuck. That's my official sentiments. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, so... Everybody remember back when the Xbox One was first announced, and they started talking about uh, the, the, the sharing thing, where you can share your games with your friends in other states and other countries, and that kind of, well, probably not other countries, but, you know, I don't know the DRM on it. But, you know, back when that whole thing happened, and, you know, then they were talking about TV and all that fun shit, and PS4 came out very strongly about, we're in it for the games, 
That's not games, okay? Seriously, what the crap? Why is this showing up initially? Why isn't the games showing up initially? Why isn't library the very first thing that you see? It really, really should be. But it's not, and God only knows why. Alright, so what I have up here... This looks shockingly like what I've seen with the new 360 interface and the Xbox One interface. Looks exactly like it to me. Does it control like it? No, it does not. You have to go up, and then you can sw switch between the different sections. So we got the PS4, which I don't have turned on yet, because I don't have a PSN account yet. Uh, friends, I have no friends. Yeah, I have to sign into the PSN network. Don't intend to do that. Messages, probably the same. Party, the same. Profile, well, it just says user one right now. Yeah. Trophies. Yeah. Settings. The important menu. All right, so we got the user guide, which is a user guide in a web interface. There we go. That's a great thing. Data handling and health safety. What? Okie dokie. So apparently that's just information that I don't give a crap about. Because it's like miles and miles of text that nobody ever reads. PSN. Does this have settings? No, it just has sign in. Notifications. Oh god, is this going to be like my phone where I have to disable all these fucking notifications? Yes, it's going to be like my phone where I have to go through and disable all my notifications. Ugh. I'm actually a little agitated with the HDCP thing. Uh, users. This is where we can manage our users, which is kind of cool. I mean, it, 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 that is cool, but kind of not unexpected considering. It's, you know, so you can have parental controls on one user, but not on another user. Speaking of which, parental controls. Yeah, no. Never going to touch that. My sister has a six-year-old son. He has an Xbox One, and currently his XBL account has parental controls enabled. She finds it so fucking annoying that she's actually going to create him a brand new account just so she, he doesn't have to deal with the parental controls anymore. Like, to the point where he's not allowed to open Netflix without her saying it's okay. Okay, I can kind of understand that, but shouldn't you have restrictions based on ratings or something? Instead of just basically saying, nope, you're not allowed to play Netflix. You're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to do that. You have to get permission for it. That's kind of silly, don't you think? So I'm basically staying away from parental controls, and if I ever have kids, basically I'm going to either trust the kids or I'm going to watch them play games. Whichever. Application save data management. This is what I was looking for. It's actually information about the dri hard drive itself. Oh, cool. You can copy stuff to the a USB drive so you can take it with you. All right. Uh, upload to online storage, which I guess you have to pay for, probably. Um, you can download it from online storage to a friend's PS4. Continue using the application. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Not terribly surprising. I somehow doubt you could plug this into um, Dropbox and get it to work. Though, that would be cool. Sony, pay attention. Um, if it doesn't do this already, which somehow doubt it does. Yeah, you got to sign in to PSN, so I doubt it. Um, yeah. Let us use our own storage servers. You know, that would that would be awesome. You got, like, all this online stuff. That would be cool. Uh, then you can manage stuff on USB storage, so... Wait. So I cannot manage the actual data itself. I can only... Oh, there it is. Detailed storage management. There we go. Alright. Nothing's on here. It's not even measuring the operating system. This operating system must be jai fucking normous. I, it, it, okay, so it advertised 500 gig hard drive, 408 gig free. Now, I understand the concept of, you know, maybe bytes versus 
megabytes or whatever, however you pronounce the other one, basically 1024 versus 1000. I understand that, okay? But I also understand that if you have a 500 gig hard drive, you're going to end up with about 460 gig, possibly more than that. It's been a little while since I've played with something this small, so you'll forgive me for not having the specific numbers. It's somewhere between 460 and 480 gig after the whole 1024 versus 1000 thing is solved. Then there's a little bit for the file allocation table, but oddly, that's already taken into account with my calculations because I'm thinking of how Windows looks at hard drives. So we're also talking about FAT th or uh, NTFS 5. So we are talking about more storage taken up for the file allocation table itself. But that still leaves us with somewhere between 460 to 480 gig. So this thing is somewhere... The, the operating system alone for this thing is somewhere around 70 gig. Holy crap! And there's nothing on here. Okay, it doesn't come pre-installed with fuck all. That's insane. That is outright insanity. Ugh. Either that or Sony is straight up lying to me from the hard drive. Uh, is the hard drive user replaceable? I'll have to dig through the manual because if it is and I pull it out and I find out it's a 550 or 450 gig hard drive, well, I'm going to be a little pissed. It advertised 500 gig. I would expect more storage. Uh, system software update. I already did that. It was blazing fast. Like, seriously, I was fiddling with something else and it was like a soft software update is available i'm like yeah okay whatever i'll you know keep doing what i'm doing you know and let it update it took like five minutes to update if that it was crazy fast i was shocked how quick network settings now this thing has um there we go Okay, so we have Wi-Fi built into this thing, which is really, really cool. And it's got wired, which is really, really cool. So I have a choice. I can do wired or wireless. That's awesome. Uh, supports WPA2, which is kind of common. I don't know what kind of Wi-Fi card this thing has in it. Um, considering what's going on, I would assume that it's got an AC Wi-Fi card. I'm just using N because that's what I have. Uh, so you can set it up and blah. Sound and screen. Let's see what we got. Video output settings. Resolution automatic, which is kind of su not surprising. Basically, right now, what it's running at, it's running at, oh, it's not telling me up here anymore. So on my capture software, it was telling me what video format it was using. It was doing 1080p at 60 frames per second. So the PS4 is physically capable of outputting 1080p at 60 frames per second. I just want to throw that out there. Start screensaver, blah, 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 blah. Is there by chance... Cool. I love all these little settings. I love digging into settings like this, which is really cool. System music, which you're probably hearing. I am not because I have the audio turned way down because I don't have a headphone jack in my TV. So I can't listen to it and, you know, have the microphone recording at the same time. It just kind of doesn't work. Same with the key tones and all that fun crap. Themes. Yeah, we had themes. I only have one because I have not connected to the store yet. PlayStation app connection settings. Um, I have no idea. Have to sign into the PSN network to use it. Remote play connection settings. That would be for the Vita. I don't or Vita or Vita or however you pronounce it. I don't have one. Video playback settings. I believe no, that's not where I did it. Uh, output at 1080p, 24 hertz. I'm assuming this is specifically for video playback, not actually just output settings. Because, like I said, it was outputting at 60 frames per second, and that would be 60 hertz. Uh, this is saying 24 hertz, which is standard cinema, uh, which I'm actually kind of pissed off at. So that would be Blu-ray play playback, because you can't get Lord of the, or the first Hobbit movie with 48 frames per second. Pisses me off to no end, because I can see 24 hertz. Noise the hell out of me. 
Display closed captions, language, data management, allow internet connection. I love how you can disable that. I do like that. Uh, I would assume that the PS4 is going to be considered the most powerful Blu-ray player, just like the PS3 originally was. Uh, devices. Bluetooth devices. I wonder if I can plug in a Bluetooth headset. Hmm. Uh, my DualShock, that's this guy, which right now is actually just plugged in because I'm letting it charge. Uh, does it show me stats? No. I was hoping it would show me the battery stats, which might be somewhere else. Audio devices. Microphone level. Oh, that would be for the headset. That's kind of cool. It actually is kind of cool. Oh, wait. Output to headphones. Oh! I wonder if that means that you could turn the audio... Just all the audio to the headset. Hang on, let me go get the headset and I'm going to find out. Okay, so output to headphones, all audio. Yes, I can hear the audio. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I, I really, really like that. Um, that means that I can use, well, probably my headset. Actually, I'm mildly curious about that, but that means that you guys don't hear the audio, but let me check. I want to use my really, really good headphones that I got with my phone. And it's the same headphone connector. So I would assume that it will work. It does work. And it sounds actually quite nice. It does. Oh, God, that's actually quite awesome. Let's, let's turn that off so you guys can hear the audio. Because you guys are more important than me right now. Um... Now, if I could output to both, that would be far more awesome. Hmm. Boop. Hmm, trippy. I wonder if that means that it actually supports multiple audio out devices. Actually, it appears to. Just, it's not that smart. External keyboard, it supports a mouse. I do not have a USB mouse to play with right now. PlayStation camera, which I don't have. And that's how you turn it off. Really? No, I doubt that. I really, really do. Date and time, language, power saving settings. Can I just tell you to turn off when I'm done? When no bonus operating assist, if I, blah, 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 blah. After four hours. After one hour. Hmm. Set functions available in rest mode. Oh. That's kind of cool. Alright. Turn off controllers automatically. New system! I'm going to stay away from system information because there might be information in there that's kind of important. Voice operation settings. Yes, apparently I can t talk to this thing. I would bet you I can wave at it, too, if I had the camera, which I do not. Uh, there it is. The a Enable HDCP. Now, this is... Uh, it, basically, what it is, is... Oh, I just had a horrifying thought. Alright, let me explain what HDCP is. It is a trusted link between the source and the output. So, it's basically checking every single device in between the source basically the PS4, and the output, the TV. So if you have something in between it that isn't HDCP compliant, like absolutely everything that records, you cannot, it won't output video. Which means if you ha do not have an HDCP compliant TV, which I have two of for the record, this will... You will not be able to use your PS4. 
because you kind of have to have one to set it up. Okay, you're kind of fucking over a couple of people there, Sony. You should probably disable that by default and then point out that, hey, HDCP is disabled by default and will disable quite a few of your settings. Do you want to enable it now? Be forewarned if you do not have HDCP compatible setup, you will lose video. Do you want to enable? Yes, no. If you hit yes, and it'll say HDCP enabled. Uh, can you read this? Yes, no. If not, it waits 15 seconds and reverts back to the HDCP off. That way you're not completely fucking over your customers there, Sony. What the hell? Uh, report system software errors automatically. Well, if my PS4 blue screens, Sony will know. Error history. Intellectual property notices, of course. And the user agreement. Standard crap. Initialization. I guess that's the standard thing. Clear learning dictionary. Okay, so it learns from my typos. Cool. Restore default settings and run through the reinitialize of the PS4. Yeah, no. Not going to do that because that will break everything I have. Oh, there's our power. That's cool. All right. This is fucking Windows Metro, which is really surprising to me. Because you see how it's popping up at the bottom here with the enter and back thing? Windows 8 does that. I mean, that's all I see when I'm looking at this. I'm, it's fucking Windows 8 when you don't have the desktop. All right. Anyway, so let's just plug in a game and see what happens. Hang on, I have to go get it. All right, here we go. Let us plug this in. And I really, really, really hope that this disc that I'm about to plug into the PS4 replaces the what's new on my screen right now because I really, really think that the game should be number one. It's a gaming console. It should be number one. See what happens. Spinning. It becomes number two, and it's doing something. I don't know what the hell it's doing. What are you doing? Do you tell me anything? Boop. No. It might be installing itself. Like it's doing it in the background, that way you don't have to tell it to install, maybe? Yeah, what the hell? Let's click on it. Nope, preparing. Yeah, that's what it's doing. That's exactly what it's doing. It forces you to install, but at least it does it in the background so that you can go do other crap. All right, so what's new is primary. I really hope I can modify this that I just haven't found a setting for that yet. The game itself is secondary, and then the applications you can use... Well, is nothing. Uh, so that's actually fine. All right, with the with the library like that, because that's just that's everything that's installed on here, and apparently everything that's installed on here is right here. So I would assume that I can pick and choose what's on here. I just don't know how yet. Options, check for update. New. Boop. Options? Nope, no options. No options. No options. 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 Nothing. Hmm. No. No idea. I guess I'll have to fiddle with it and find out. 
Applications will be displayed in the boxed area. Adjust the area to fit the TV display. This setting is effective only for some applications. You can change the setting later. For the record, I didn't hit anything outside of the X to open up Grand Theft Auto V. I have no idea where the hell this is coming from. Enlarge. My TV is quite large. Uh, Yeah, there we go. Enter. And now we're trying to open Grand Theft Auto V. And here we go. Standard Grand Theft Auto V, which is not that impressive. Because it's Grand Theft Auto V. I mean, it's to be expected. All right. Well, I'm going to end the episode here because this is not about Grand Theft Auto V. This is about the PS4. And I will... Actually, if I, if I can get this to work properly, I would point out that there is no way that this video that you're watching right now looks anywhere near as pretty as the PS4 actually looks. Um, I was fiddling around with settings. Or, oh, now it's installing. Well, then I will. Yeah, I thought it was already installing. Apparently not. Whatever. So, anyways. Um... I was fiddling around with the settings with the Wii U, trying to record properly. And the one thing that I found was that the my hardware, it's my hardware. I know that for a fact. My hardware cannot record at decent quality. This, what you're seeing right now is cranked. And I guarantee you it does not look anywhere near as pretty as the actual game. The actual, what I'm seeing on my TV. So I'm just going to throw that out there. Plus the whole YouTube encoding just kind of messes with everything. But the YouTube encoding is nothing compared to the limitation on the hardware that I have. I have a Hot Podge PBR HD 2, which I guess technically is kind of old, but it was specifically designed for the 360 and the PS4. Or the 360 and the PS3, sorry. Uh, so it should do better than it actually is, and I don't know why it isn't. So, whatever. Um, I'm just going to say that this looks very, very, very high res. Of course, it's just pastels right now, so it doesn't really mean anything to me. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of jaggies, so anti-aliasing isn't enabled. And I know what most people are going to say, and I'm perfectly fine with it. PC Master Game or PC Gamer Master Race or whatever. PC Master PC Master Race. That's what it's supposed to be. You can tell I don't get into these arguments all that often. But yes, PC Master Race. Yes, I have a PC that two years old is still way more powerful than the PS4. Of course, I spent twelve hundred dollars on it. Mm. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> I'll end it here before I rattle ramble on. And I just want to point out it's five percent installing right now. See you guys in the next episode, and as always, keep playing the game, and have fun.